This is Twit. Um, Microsoft has just had a breakthrough in the in its ongoing kind of attempt to use DNA for storage. So this is one of the fascinating things about sort of the state of technology is that we're pretty sure that pretty soon we're going to run out of, of storage space in the way that we currently keep it. Um, one of the problems is that at the very basis of our data storage methods are ones and zeros. And it's either a zero or it's a one, which is sort of two points on which everything else is based. And these different scientists and researchers who are looking at a way to uh, improve upon our door storage, our storage um, methods have realized that DNA could be a great way to store information because of what DNA is made up of or of what DNA is made up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so instead, it would use, you probably remember from your time in school, ATGC, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine as those basic blocks uh, of DNA. If you use those uh, pairs, then you suddenly you've got more information that you can use to uh, have DNA. So it says, it turns out you can use DNA to convert ones and zeros into those four letters for storing complex data. So that means there's even more uh, availability with all of those. It says, the company announced in a new research paper the first nanoscale DNA storage writer, which the research group expects to scale for a DNA write density of 25 times 10 to the sixth power sequences per square centimeter, or three orders of magnitude more tightly than before. And that means that that's more tightly than the previous versions of doing this, not more tightly than, uh, you know, uh, the one zero method of storing data. So it says totally. DNA has a dense capable, a density capable of storing one exabyte or 1 billion gigabytes per square inch. Jesus. That is many <laughs> magnitudes larger than what the best storage option we have right now called linear type open magnetic tape, uh, which I believe is, that's used in uh, many different sort of archival storage facilities is the uh, LTO magnetic tape. So <laughs> instead of that, one exabyte, a billion gigabytes per square inch. Um, it says the International Data Corporation, I'm pulling this from the Gizmodo article, the International Data Corporation predicts data storage demands will reach nine zettabytes by 2024. Only one zettabyte of storage would be used if Windows 11 were downloaded on 15 billion devices. Using current methods, that data would need to be stored on millions of tape cartridges, the ones that we have right now. Cut the tape and use DNA, and nine zettabytes of information can be stored in an area as small as a refrigerator. <laughs> Every movie ever released could fit in the footprint of a sugar cube. <laughs> this is so mind-blowingly incredible. Like, I, I'm so glad that they're giving these um, explanations to help us understand. Um, yeah, seriously. Now, this is the other thing, is that along, like, the reason we use LTO magnetic tape is because along with being um, a very efficient storage method as it stands, it is also a long-lived storage method. You put something, you burn something onto a CD and surely, surely, uh, at, shortly in the span of things, it's going to get off of that uh, CD. It says, data stored on DNA can last for thousands of years whereas data loss occurs on tape with 30 years and of course even sooner on solid state drives and hard disk drives so 30 years is what we have for the tape so every 30 years or a little bit before that we got to recopy that data and put it on new magnetic tape but with the DNA method it could be stored for thousands of years because of how incredible DNA is. So Microsoft yeah, is, is crazy. really working hard on this to make it happen. And my God, all of the movies ever made could be stored on a sugar cube. Can you suddenly imagine instead of this 
SD card. I just plug a little sugar cube into a camera. I wouldn't even need that much, but like start to think <laughs> about these little tiny things that you plug into your DSLR and suddenly you've got, uh, I don't know, 50,000 hours of footage you can record before you ever have to try to dump things off of it. Oh, and it's all because of DNA. That is magical. The first DNA drive. Uh, so cool. So anyway, that's something that's coming in the future. Incredibly smart tech and had to share that on uh, on the show because just amazing. Yeah, that's cool. 